What's up, bitches? I'm talking about what's up, my bitches. Glock 23, 3rd gen. Glock 19, 4th gen. And uh, we've got some differences here, as you can see. Um, when you first buy the Generation 4 type Glocks, you'll notice that all their Gen 4 Glocks come with three magazines. And the, the third generation Glocks only come with two magazines. The uh, fourth gen Glocks also, all of them feature that, um, amb uh, not ambidextrous, yeah, it can be switched for ambidextrous use, but that uh, increased size on the um, magazine release. The button is way bigger. I like that a lot. Some people say that makes the gun look more ugly. And I say I don't give a crap, it works. And here's the magazine release, that little button on the 3rd uh, uh, gen Glocks. This is a Glock 23 3rd gen and you know, 19 4th gen. The multiple back straps, or the MBS, uh, comes with these multiple back straps. I got on the smallest one because it takes that little arch out. feels a lot better in my hand. I never did like those little arches in the back Glocks. That has always been a heavy criticism towards Glock. If they could just get rid of that arch, they'd be alright. Personally, I would like an aftermarket company like Lone Wolf or some other company out there to start manufacturing their own custom back straps to take that arch out like it would just go straight up like a 1911 grip. Um, I like the 4th gen Glocks. They're just oh my god good. If you haven't, you know, if you, you buy SIGs and they jam on you like crazy and you buy other pistols and they just, you know, you need to at least consider Glock. I mean, they look blocky, yeah, but I mean, you can just pick one up, and I guarantee I can start shooting right now, and I don't have to worry about this thing jamming up or having to put 250 rounds through it before I can complain and all that BS nonsense. You know, out of the box, it's ready to go to war. Okay? It's a great choice for those people that want to buy their first handgun you know you just can't go wrong with it but anyways uh i was watching hickok 45's video about the glock 23 i've never been a 40 caliber fan and i'm just kind of getting warmed up to that 40 cal uh, i've i bought a glock 22 uh second gen back in like i don't know about a year or two ago didn't like it could never put the the 40 caliber rounds on paper like the way i wanted to and i was like man this thing is just inaccurate and it's just crap I don't know why. All the other calibers, like 357 SIG, 9mm, 45 ACP, you know, I could always put those rounds on the paper like I wanted to with any most any pistol that shot those calibers. But with a Glock 22, I just could not put the, the rounds on target the way I wanted to, so I sold it. Well, here about three or four weeks ago, I went ahead and picked up a Glock 23, a uh, third gen. The Hickok 45 I was talking about, you know, the Glock 23. I picked it up. Absolutely love it. Uh, for some reason, these Glocks I can put on paper. I don't know what it was. Maybe I had a faulty Glock or whatever. Love, love the uh, 40 caliber Glock now. Now I'm starting to become a little 40 fan. Oh my God. But uh, 9mm is good. Uh, you know, if women can really handle that 9mm pretty alright. The 40 cal is pretty snappy, for a, especially for a woman. Uh, 45 definitely is where it's at you know I don't have uh, any of my Glock 21's with me right now so I went ahead and bung one out but uh yeah enough rambling I'm rambling on way too freaking much so let's get to shooting here I have to put my camera down because my bipod broke sorry for the inconvenience but my my uh, I mean my tripod is a piece of utter trash I mean god Walmart special holy crap we're going to shoot this a couple of times, uh, first person view style. Let me uh, pop both of these right here. All right. First we're going to shoot the uh, Glock 19, holds 15 rounds. We're going to go ahead and shoot it. Let's see. I sure wish I could do this through the camera pretty all right. Oh well. I'm just going to shoot it like this, y'all. Y'all get to see. Get my camera adjusted the way I want to. Let's see, I'll just do this here. Maybe I can do this view. Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Am I hitting? Yeah. Hitting, hitting right out of the money. This thing's accurate. I'm hitting the money out there, alright. 
hitting this one handed too. Shit, a little low, hit the water. As long as I hit that wood out there, I'm gonna see if I do that again. Come on. Let's see if I can do this here. This is hard, I'm a one man cameraman. Yeah, come on now. One man camera show here. I'm my own camera. Lock back to the rear like it was supposed to. No issues, Glock 19, fourth gen. So now we're gonna go for the Glock 23, third gen. Let's see what the difference is. Let's uh, do a couple of shots like this here. Let's see if I can make this happen. All right. Let's see, Let's see what we end out there. See, this is one hand, and I'm hitting exactly what I'm looking to shoot at. A bit more muzzle time. It's hard to do it. Trying to shoot it with the other camera at the same time here. I got two of one bullet done. Try to this angle here. Maybe y'all can see what I'm shooting at. back to the rear like it was supposed to so if you're going to consider buying a Glock or after watching this video you, you should at least consider buying a Glock because I mean if you're dissatisfied with it you can always almost 99.9% .9 of the time resell it for almost the same price you bought it for so I mean you're really not losing you know much you know what I'm talking about but uh what I urge you is uh buy the Glock model you want to first you know you can't really go wrong with the Glock 19 I mean it's the most popular Glock model that Glock sells um, is the Glock 19 um, you know th this 9mm pistol is really really a good good shooter the Glock 23 is also a good shooter too it's a little much for some people you know it's, it's a, a hair bit much for some people to handle it's a little bit more snappier uh, the 45, which would be the Glock 21. I sure wish they made a 45 ACP Glock in this midsize frame. You know what I'm talking about? That didn't have that wide ass slide. You know what I'm talking about? I'm pretty sure if Glock spent enough money, they could manufacture like a a Glock, you know, 42 or 30, or something like that, and it would be the midsize uh, like that. The 21 is a little bit big. The 21 SF is really nice. But I'm, I'm telling you, you know, that's where it's at. So I'm going to shoot, you know, another time. <sighs> One-man camera show right here. I don't have a camera crew. Let me put my earplugs in because I took them out like a little jackass. Let me put them back in. Oh. There you go. Okay. Really smooth. Action is really smooth on this. Let's see. Let's do a first person shooter view here. I'm going to try to do this through the camera. Right, let's see if I do this here. Damn. Let's see if I can put the camera right here and hold really sturdy. Damn, it's hard to get that camera in there the way I want it to. Do this here, one-handed style. Gangster style. There you go. There's that uh, dual recoil. Y'all can see it in there. My camera loves to focus when it wants to. Come on, camera, you can focus in on that. Come on, camera, focus, focus, focus. Focus on what we got going on here.
You see that dual recoil spring right there? That's uh, pretty good. I like that. Real good improvement on the block. I just will shoot it one more time for shits and giggles, I guess. I said one man camera show. Try it again. I'm gonna do something a little different. God, I need a cameraman. I need a freaking hire a camera freaking man. That's what I need. Taking applications. <laughs> Try this here. Knocking that log good, and that's what uh, that's where I'm wanting to shoot with one hand. That log right there. I hope y'all can see all that all that nonsense right there. Shooting that log. I've been shooting at that log since Hurricane Rita. But anyways, there's the Glock. Definitely consider this pistol. Really nice shooter. Pretty much any Glock model. And uh, we'll shoot another. I'm got my trigger finger. Let's see if I can do this here. Let's see. Here we go. Hit right on the money, bro. This is one-handed style too. Hit exactly what I hit with one hand. A little low, a little low again. There it goes. Glock is the way to go, son. It's the way to go. So there you go. Get one while you still can. See you bitch later.